Great Lakes Prepping here with your prepper report for the week of December 20th, 2020. I'm going to keep this week's prepper report kind of short because it's Christmas week and I've got a million things to get finished. So here we go. What's in the news this week? Well, on Sunday, the United States Congress passed a new $900 billion coronavirus relief bill. The scope of the relief package is to send federal assistance to individuals, small businesses, and healthcare providers. As for the specific details, it seems that the plan includes direct payments of $600 to most adults, plus another $600 per child. Also, nearly $300 billion for paycheck protection and small business loans, $20 billion for small business grants, and $15 billion to help struggling event venues. The bill also adds a $300 supplemental unemployment payment, I assume per week, and extends the already extended unemployment eligibility for people who have lost their jobs due to the pandemic. So, it seems pretty much like a scaled down version of the CARES Act from back in March, $600 instead of $1,200, $300 instead of $600 and so forth. In other news, there are apparently one or more large protests materializing that would take place in Washington, D.C. on January 6th, as this is the day when Congress is scheduled to formally confirm the electoral college votes. President Trump has called for his supporters to come to D.C. for a, quote, wild rally. Some fear that these demonstrations will become hostile, leading to violence, property damage, etc., in what seems like it could be a last ditch effort by President Trump to stop, overturn, or otherwise disrupt the election results, some supporters who are planning to attend have used the phrase hostile takeover in describing their intentions and or expectations for the protests. Hostile takeover of what? I'm not sure. A takeover of Washington, D.C.? A takeover of Congress? I don't know but the whole thing sure sounds like it belongs on my very long list titled Stuff I'm Not Getting Involved In. So what about the supply chain? Well, I don't have anything really new or specific to talk about with regards to the supply chain this week. As far as I can tell, we seem to be at about the same place as we were last week. Most of the supply chain news and information being talked about in the last week are all either about the COVID vaccine or really have more to do with Europe some new strain of the virus, lockdowns, food shortages, all that stuff. I can't really speak to it much since I'm not keeping on top of it as it doesn't pertain to me in the United States. With regards to uh, the supply chain and logistics as it pertains to the vaccine here, there's a million little details uh, that, that the news outlets talk about that I guess we could discuss, but it all boils down to pretty much what we already know, and that's you're not getting the vaccine anytime real soon. I'll also say I sure hope you've already mailed any packages, cards, or anything else that needs to be sent. Massive disruptions in mail delivery are being reported all over the country due to the record-breaking online purchasing and gift sending during this corona holiday season, combined with the U.S. Postal Service being much shorter staffed than usual as are many large organizations due to COVID infections. These problems are of course resulting in major delays in getting letters and parcels delivered, as well as plenty just being lost or otherwise unaccounted for. Being that it's only three days from Christmas, I'm sure you weren't planning on sending anything out this late anyhow, but if you waited until even a couple days ago, it might be a Christmas miracle if it gets delivered before the 25th. The weekly challenge. This week's challenge, well, who wants homework during Christmas vacation? Here's the challenge. Have a safe and happy Christmas. Enjoy the time with whoever you can spend it with. Call your family members who you can't see. That's it. Just have a Merry Christmas. So that's it for your shorter prepping report for the week of December 20th, 2020. Also, I'm going to skip next week's prepper report video as part of my own effort to try and relax a little over the holidays. I have a hard time keeping still for too long, so I guess we'll see how that goes. Anyhow, as always, we'll end this video with a little something to take the edge off. That's right, dog videos. Until next time, stay informed, stay prepared, stay vigilant, and have a Merry Christmas.